If you're feeling dizzy, lightheaded, or just low on energy as you first start your diet, you may be coming down with the keto flu. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to never have to worry about those damn symptoms again. It sucks. You're already trying to get off sugar and the sugar cravings and the addiction is already going away and it's already tough enough. Why pair that with keto flu? You don't have to. So follow along on these steps. If you haven't already done so, subscribe because I got videos like this all the time coming out. And you don't wanna miss out. So the first thing we wanna talk about with the keto flu is you have to realize if you're on a high fat diet and you're burning fat now instead of carbohydrates, your body is gonna be flushing water like crazy. You're probably gonna have a dry mouth. You may have like cracky lips that need a lot of chapstick. All of this is because carbohydrates actually hold a lot of water. When you bring in fat, it's not gonna hold a lot of water. So you're flushing your kidneys, flushing your liver, and everything that you put in with the water is just flushing. So step one is hydrate like crazy. If you haven't already done so, grab a gallon of water, which we'll talk about what type in a second, and place it by your bed. So first thing in the morning, just start pounding water. I recommend, is especially if you're just starting your diet, get a gallon of water in before noon. That way you can kind of coast throughout the day and you also don't wake up at night peeing your brains out. No one wants that. You want to sleep, have good sound sleep and not to just wake up and constantly pee all over the place. No one wants that either. That sucks just as much as the keto flu. Step two is you're going to be low on electrolytes. If your body is used to taking the electrolytes from the carbohydrates and used to holding on to water, there's a good chance you're gonna be low on electrolytes. We're talking potassium, magnesium, and sodium. If your body's low on those, what's gonna happen is you're gonna start to get that, that like little headache pain. You're gonna to start to feel lightheaded, dizzy. So raise your electrolytes. Now this can be done by drinking high quality water like Fiji water or um, an artesian water that still has all the minerals in it and they're not stripped out yet. Or your regular water, just take a pinch of pink Himalayan salt, put it in there. Or like I like to do, salt the crap out of your vegetables and your food before you eat it. This will help you immensely. If you're still experiencing symptoms, there's a lot of electrolyte powders that you can take that will help you get rid of this so you don't have to worry about this problem. Step three is make sure you're eating enough fat. On a carbohydrate-based diet, you're used to burning glucose, which is like igniter fuel. It's super, super flammable, it burns really quick, and it's easy to get rid of. Think of fat like coal. It's not gonna burn for very long. And if there's lighter fluid there, it's gonna burn that before it ever burns the coal. Our goal is to get rid of all of the lighter fluid to then move to burning coal. If you're still taking in a little bit of lighter fluid, say you're taking in maybe 10 and 15% carbohydrates and not five, your body still recognizes that you're still taking in carbohydrates. It's just gonna give you symptoms of feeling low on carbohydrates. And if you're not taking enough fat, it's gonna say, hey, we have no energy at all. So you don't have coal or lighter fluid to run off of. You're definitely not gonna have energy. One of the biggest mistakes I see people making as they start a ketogenic diet is just not taking in enough fat and having too much carbs. So make sure your carbs are just straight leafy vegetables as you begin and raise your fat. Literally add fat to your fat. Put grass-fed butter on top of your grass-fed ribeye. Make sure that you're adding fat to your fat. Throw avocado on top of your salad, whatever it is. Next. Eat a lot of calories. If you're starting the diet, you don't have to worry about the, the calories as much. You're already gonna eat such healthy food that your body's gonna start to regulate and have progress anyways. And most of the clients that we see are already on such a low caloric deficit and not losing weight. It's gonna be helpful for you to eat a bunch of calories and regulate your thyroid hormone so you can burn calories for a longer period of time and get you to your end goal faster. So eat a bunch of calories. If you're low on calories, that's gonna send another trigger to your body to start the keto flu. And last but not least, this product right here, Keto Fuel. Simply taking in BHB salts, the same kind of thing that happens when you go through ketosis. Your body will see those as fuel and use those instead of the carbohydrates. So it makes the transition of running on carbohydrates to running on ketones or fat much simpler. So if you haven't already done so, purchase this product. If you're still having keto flu after these symptoms, go see your doctor because you really shouldn't. You should be good. And then if you are feeling good, leave a comment below the video. Let us know that this helped you. And then if it helped you, make sure you share it so you can go help other people. Thanks guys.